Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go in, see if they have anything new. Uh, maybe see if they got some of the things you guys have been asking about. Check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Dollar Tree here, notice that they've got a lot of their Halloween decor coming out. It's good to see. Everything in here is still $1.25. Up front and center, I do notice that they have a lot of candy, and I gotta say, some pretty good candy here. $1.25, kind of hard to beat on this. These bags are a little bigger than some of the ones they have in the aisles. We'll check the food and stuff like that here in a few minutes. I want to check out some of the uh, Halloween stuff. This stuff's pretty cool. It's kind of like Halloween crafting here, where you can kind of make your own designs. Yeah, that's really cool. I bet Jess would like something like this, or the kids. Some of our nieces and nephews probably like to do stuff like this. It's really neat. I've never seen them do anything like this before. They always have crafting items and stuff, but I've never seen, like, Halloween version. They also have a lot of their fall stuff in, uh, which is good to see. We didn't, uh, they didn't have any of this out the last time we were here. It's been a few weeks, but, uh, yeah, good to see they got some of this stuff. Pumpkin spice, everything nice. You know, I can do a pumpkin spice drink, like, once or twice a year, but that's pretty much it. I do have to say this stuff is pretty cool on the I'm on the other side over here we have the Halloween crafting on this side here's just kind of a fall setting of different crafting things you can do uh, I like this right here like the little the fake corn decoration you guys know I love my corn on the cob got some nice fall stuff here that you can paint look at this see this is the kind of stuff that's worth coming to Dollar Tree for Dollar twenty-five for that. That's a good deal. Do you think they have plenty of junior mints here? Hey, there's some whoppers. Somebody was asking about whoppers. How you haven't been able to find them? Looks like they have a ton here at Dollar Tree. Uh, so these are the normal size boxes that I was talking about the other day. Sorry, there's a radio that's really loud over here. But this is the same price here as it is at Kroger now. Dollar twenty-five. Some of them have shrunk. Uh, like the Raisinets at some stores like Target, where they're 99 cents. Uh, but yeah, these are all $1.25, obviously. It does look like all of their little bagged candy, though, has shrunk in size. Uh, these are $1.25 now. I remember somebody was saying that these were 7 ounces before of the Sour Patch. They are now 3.6 ounces, so that is a significant difference. And hey, somebody was looking for Twizzlers. They got them here. I gotta say, I looked at Kroger the other day. There was no Twizzlers. So if you like Twizzlers and you see them, you may want to buy up one or two. I don't know what's going on, but a couple stores haven't had them. So wow, looks like the canned goods here at Dollar Tree have gotten hit lately. Uh, some of these Goya beans right here are a good deal now a days at a dollar twenty-five. Same size cans. Uh, some people were wanting to, or wanting me to check to make sure they're the same size. They are fifteen point five ounces. Um, and they've been 15.5 ounces since I've been checking over a year. So I, if it used to be 16, I really don't know. But they do have the Green Giant here, obviously $1.25. Same price as Kroger. Boy, they're out of a lot of stuff, which is surprising. I came to the Dollar Tree that's usually always packed. Uh, they do have the Healthy Choice meals here. Uh, $1.25, you know, we've seen these at a lot higher prices lately. So the chicken noodle's pretty good. Uh, it was really good when we got it for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Okay, but they got the Kitchen Classics here, chicken noodle soup, which is really good. Uh, I would pay a dollar twenty-five for that. That's definitely worth it. They do have the Campbell soups, twenty-five percent bigger cans. Obviously, dollar twenty-five, uh, which you're not going to find it any cheaper than a dollar twenty-five, especially chicken and rice. This one is a dollar eighty-nine for a ten-point-five ounce can at Kroger. Chicken noodle is $1.25 at Kroger right now for a 10.5 ounce can. So definitely a little bit of value here. Uh, they got the Southgate beef stew, which I don't think we got one good comment about that. There was somebody who was asking that they hadn't been able to find it the last time we were here. And then we found it and boy, we just got flooded with some bad comments about it. So I'll take your word for it. I will not be trying that. They do have the Brunswick tuna salads here, which if you don't know, these are made by Bumblebee. So... Um, you know, $1.25 is a pretty okay deal considering even when they're on sale at Kroger, they're two for three. So still a little cheaper and I have tried these and they're fantastic. Just as good as Bumblebee. 
We got a comment on Starkist Albacore Tuna and that someone has been having trouble finding it. Now, I don't see any Albacore here. Um, I don't know if Dollar Tree even carries it, but they do have the Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna and the Orleans uh, Flake White Albacore. So, uh, well, that is Albacore. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's see. Best diffused by November 3rd, 2024. Um, Never tried the Orleans brand. I, You know, we kind of got mixed reviews on other products from them. So let me know down in the comments if you've tried the Albacore version, if it's any good. They do have some of the luncheon loaf here that somebody had asked about. It is 7 ounces. I believe this used to be 12 ounces. Um, not too sure, but I do remember the can being a little bigger than this. This is definitely a smaller can. Uh, $1.25 for that. I don't know why I keep saying that. You guys know everything in this video will be $1.25. They have not gotten any of the stuff that is $3 to $5 like some family or some Dollar Trees across the country. Everything in here is $1.25. Wow, they are empty on a lot of stuff. This is crazy. I mean, it's only been a few weeks since we've been here. I mean, well, they've got the pickles down here. The sweet pickles. Okay. Haven't seen many sweet pickles. We saw some at Aldi the other day. Uh, now this is the Breckenridge Farms sweet pickles here, 11.5 ounces. You guys know the price. <laughs> Got these mushrooms, pieces, and stems here. The Pampa, uh, they look all right. Can always just kind of look around for a second and find something you guys been asking about. Here's some little teeny tiny Heinz ketchup hot and spicy. Huh. With Tabasco, that's interesting. I haven't seen this one. $1.25 for that. They do have these Hunts ketchup here. Uh, 20 ounces for $1.25. Now, Hunts is always a little cheaper than Heinz. Um, but it's good to see they got that in. They also got some of the craft here. Here's the one you guys know we always get, the sweet brown sugar. This is really good stuff right here. $1.25. Moving over to some of the snacks. Now, I will say something, I haven't put it in a video lately, but these fruit snacks last year were very hard to find. This was after kids had already been in school for a while. Uh, Welch's, I believe, was one of them that was having trouble. I know the Kroger brand, they were having trouble getting that in. Um, but this is something, you know, and these fruit cups, it's kind of funny, they're all in the same area here. Uh, fruit cups haven't been an issue lately. Applesauce hasn't been an issue. I have seen less and less of these fruit packs so if you buy these for your kids or something when you find a sale or something i would buy up a couple just to know you got them do got some different treats here some swiss rolls buddy bars <laughs> never tried those before uh dollar 25 i mean you know for eight of them eight count i don't know. well yeah so it's four packs of them i don't like when it feels loose in there you know, this feels like way more box than it needs to be. I don't know. I'm weird like that, I guess. <laughs> you got, oh, look at these. These are definitely smaller than they used to be. They used to be a little wider, about the same length, but they definitely used to be a little wider. That is definitely not worth a dollar twenty-five. Jeez, I don't know. They do have these little tiny ten-ounce jars of peanut butter. You know the price. They do have some crunchy though. Now we've been getting comments that people haven't been able to find crunchy peanut butter. We did see it at Aldi the other day. The Peanut Delight. Uh, and those are $1.69 now. These obviously, that price right there. But they do have a peanut butter spread with honey. I wonder if that's any good. Lots and lots of empty holes here today. I did not expect this. Haven't been seeing a lot of quote, empty shelves around our grocery stores lately, but we have been getting a lot of comments all across the country. A few comments from Michigan. Uh, some of our viewers from Michigan have said a lot of the stores have been empty around there. Also a little out west. We got a couple comments from Oklahoma. So we'll have to definitely keep a close eye on things as the uh, holidays and stuff approach, but not just that, just in general. Looks like a lot of these fruit drinks have taken a hit here too. And you know, the funny thing is that I don't, usually when we see it this low, we'll see a ton of boxes in the aisles and everything of things they gotta put away. There's no boxes. So I don't know if they have it in the back. Maybe they haven't gotten it out yet, but it is definitely low. One other thing that is low is this Yoohoo. 
these have shrunk down to 12 ounces. These used to be 16 ounces. Yeah, dollar and it was 16 ounces for a dollar. Now it's 12 ounces for a dollar 25. They do have a good amount of dish soap in. Um, never tried any of this Oxy Ultra Deluxe. Um, you know, these little things, the Pomala, you know, these are probably worth it. $1.25 for this. Um, let's see, this is 10 ounces. It depends on the size bottle that you get at Kroger, but it could be right around $5 for like 26, 28 ounces. So, you know, that's probably not that bad of a deal here. They do have a lot of the Nor pasta sides in and some of the rice sides. Uh, this is good to see. Got the cheddar broccoli here. Uh, we've been seeing these kind of go up in price. Uh, 4.3 ounces. I don't know. I have to check the size of the ones at Kroger to see if they have shrunk down. It, these look a little smaller, don't they? These do. I don't know. I'll have to check. Um, but they do got a lot of them, and we've been seeing these kind of go up in price. Pretty much everywhere has been a dollar twenty-nine or higher. We got some comments on some pizza pie crust. Um, haven't found many. Uh, they do have them here at Dollar Tree. I don't. I don't know how good they are. Let us know if you've ever tried this one before. It looks good. Uh, these are ultra thin. They've kind of moved some things around. They do have their spaghetti down here. All they have is the 25% more. So I assume this is 20 ounces. Yes, 20 ounces. So a pound, 0.4. So yeah, it's not too bad. The Columbia spaghetti is okay. Not the greatest, but it's, it's okay. It'll get you through. It doesn't surprise me at all that they're not selling this syrup here. They're not selling it at all. Probably because people bought it before and realized that this is not very good. We have tried this. I am not a fan. It is, I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't taste very good. If you're in a quick pinch or if you just don't want to go to some of the other stores, they do have a little variety of dressings here. They got Thousand Island, surprisingly. I uh, got some classic Caesar. They do have ranch. You can tell which are the best sellers here. Uh, the Italian dressing or the ranch. I mean, I believe these are 8 ounces still. Yes. 8 ounces. Um, yeah. I mean, really not too bad. So the shortages continue here in the coffee aisle. I don't like to see that. They do have this Cafe Moro which is not Cafe Bastello. Now this is six ounces, so this is the smaller. Uh, probably the, yeah, I mean, it's. some people have said that this is the same as Cafe Bastello. I've had some people that say it is not. Don't really know, to be honest. I don't drink either one, uh, but for a, I don't know, $1.25 for that, six ounces. Some people like it. They do have a variety of teas. And here they got some of the T Vive. Got some pretty decent comments on this here. I don't know if that's okay. Twenty tea bags. I don't know. Got some of the chai black tea here. Got some all natural black tea. One hundred tea bags here. It's pretty good. That's well worth it. So they only have a couple of the evaporated milks down here, and one I just noticed here, one that some people ask about, the California Farms evaporated milk. There's one thing of it here. Um, Best Buy March 10th, 2023, so a little less than a year on that, but they are definitely selling the uh, Betty Crocker. Hopefully they continue to get these in as we approach the holiday season and, and whatever, just, just for them in general. Uh, they got the Triple Berry Muffin Mix here. Good that it's a good brand. We love Betty Crocker. There's the original right there. I, you know, for $1.25, makes 12 cookies. Yeah, I don't really feel like that's that bad of a deal at all. They also have some of the Pillsbury Devil's Food traditional chocolate, traditional vanilla. Wow. I don't know. This this seems like a pretty good price right here for this stuff. Very low on rice and beans, too. I noticed that they moved it from this side over to this side. I did just notice we got some coffee here. I didn't even see this. So this is the Supreme... Supreme tradition. This is not coffee. This is Memphis style barbecue seasoning. Wow, that's funny. Okay, so this goes nowhere near here. I did find one thing of coffee right here, though, of the medium roast. Now, we've gotten, haven't really gotten great comments on this, but 
if you're in a pinch and this is the only store near you, it's something. Okay, so back to the rice and beans here. Yes, they are definitely very low. Um, they do have some of the jasmine here, though. These are a pound. Let's see, brown rice here. This looks like more than a pound. Yeah, that's two pounds. But, um, and yeah, this used to be on the other side. It used to be a little bigger. And they used to have such a great variety. I mean, they still got some of the black beans and the red kidney beans, which people like. But uh, they got some of the lentils down here. But yeah, it's definitely a lot less than they used to carry. So this down here is the Hunt's Pasta Sauce, garlic and herb. Um, you know, haven't had an issue with this. But in all the stores around here, we've had a lot of trouble uh, getting diced tomatoes. Uh, any kind of like tomato, canned tomato products. So that's something to keep in mind. And we've been getting a lot of comments that some people across the country have been having the same problem. So, you know, another item, when you find it, don't worry too much about the price. Buy up a couple to know that you have it. Well, I found out where all the air conditioning is in here. It is right under the pet food aisle. It is burning up in here. It's like 90 degrees outside today, so it's a little warm. Not really much as far as pet food goes. They do have treats. They do have this kitten caboodle uh well pet food here cat food uh dollar 25 it is purina yeah i mean that's not too bad of a deal they also have some little benefits here uh, and this is the only dog food that i see here um, and this is significantly smaller than the cat food one and they do have a lot of dog treats they got these gravy train jerky strips Got the Alpo T-Bones. Whoa. Bet a dog would like that. So we have gotten good comments on the Gravy Train. It's the first time I've ever seen the Alpo T-Bone snack for dogs. But we have gotten not so good comments on these canine carryouts, the beef and cheese flavor and stuff like this. Uh, kind of mixed reviews. I would say probably more bad than good. Uh, but they do carry a lot of them, that's for sure. And this is nice, too. Like, they got dog bones over here. They got bowls, different chew toys. You know, some pretty cool ones here, too. Yeah, I used to have one just like this with my dog years ago. Uh, this is a good one, too. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, they got some little cat toys, too. There you go. So, yep. I don't know if that's got catnip in it or not. Looks like they got some ice cream in here. It's actually way less than they had before. The last time we came in here, this place was packed with ice cream. Um, these Snickers and Twix, these have definitely shrunk in size, but it's been a while. And I still kind of feel like that's worth $1.25, considering what you're going to pay for a big one at the grocery store. Nothing but get bad comments about these meatballs. Um, you know, I, we had one person that was looking for them last year because they haven't been able to find them. But since then, uh, yeah, I haven't had any good comments on these. So not so good of comments on these cheese pizzas right here, but the Celeste pizzas, we have gotten some good comments on. Uh, the Creations, yeah, we got some bad comments on that, but the Celeste pizzas here, uh, people say these are well worth $1.25. They do have a selection of their burritos back in. One thing I just noticed, I never knew that Tombstone made one here. I will say, this is pretty small. Uh, it's very thin. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anybody out there ever tried this one? Let me know. Uh, they do got some of the burritos. They've been out of these for a long time. They got the chimichanga here. Uh, they do have Hot Pockets, which they claim these are a fourth of a pound. Um, funny thing is, is they feel lighter, but they feel thinner on top. Like, I don't know, I would almost just buy the box at Meyer or Kroger. I don't need Hot Pockets anymore, though. Just kind of grew out of them, I guess. Um, yeah, ooh, nothing but bad comments on those Fast Bites. So, I don't know, I think we had one person that liked the cheeseburger. Everybody says the chicken is terrible, so I don't know. I've never tried one, but that's what we hear. So, ever since their vegetables had gone up to $1.25, we quit buying them. Uh, it was just too much. Um, I got that asparagus up there. We actually got some good comments on this, uh, which is surprising because I didn't think they would be that good. Okay, so 
Not so good at comments on the banquet breakfast. I've never tried one of these, but I remember it's been a while. Uh, we got a lot of comments saying that they weren't that good. Um, but they do have some other breakfast wraps here. Uh, the Winding River Crinkle Cut Fries, we got some good comments on. And somebody was saying that these Arita fries are a good deal. I mean, if you're just wanting to microwave a few fries or hash browns, I guess, um, maybe. But you could get a huge bag. At, I mean, one that like covers this whole thing. I don't know what the weight is. But I mean, it's huge for like $7 at Walmart. So I, I don't know. This feels like nothing. This says 4.5 ounces, but I don't know. It's pretty light. I'm glad to see they're getting some of these frozen items in still, but it's hard to tell too because some of these boxes are empty. Um, well, yeah, no, there's a couple of the griddle cake sausage things in there, more hot pockets. I guess these are breakfast ones, yeah. Breakfast here, sausage, egg, and cheese. Eh, never tried a breakfast hot pocket before. They do have some pancakes and waffles. Never tried these before. Let me know down in the comments if these are any good, uh, the waffles or the pancakes. Okay, so it looks like they got a couple new juice items in here. Premium Fruit Splash, Florida's Natural. Always gotta check and make sure there's no coconut in it. I'm allergic to coconut. But somebody was talking about the Donald Duck orange juice, that your husband really liked it, um, and that I should try it. I know I tried the Fruit Punch here, and I was never gonna drink another Donald drink again, but you know what? I'm gonna try it. These are the kind of things that you really should come to Dollar Tree for. These scrub buddies, these are the ones that me and Jessica use. $1.25 for six of them. Liked it better when it was a dollar, but you know what? Where can you get this many of these? And these work great. Where can you get this many of these for this price? I mean, and they're really good. So I meant to say this in a video, but I remember the last time I went to Sam's Club, I looked for some latex gloves. Somebody was looking for a huge amount of them. And I meant to mention that in the video and I never did, um, but they didn't have any, they didn't have them. Now this is a hundred, a hundred count gloves. These are kind of the, the uh, you know, over the fingertips, unless you got really huge hands, it's not gonna fit snug. But this is a hundred of them for $1.25 and they do have a bunch of other latex gloves here. Um, you know, next time we go out to Sam's Club, I'll try to see if they have them in again. I even asked somebody if they had them and they didn't. Um, but yeah, a lot of this stuff, all the scrubbing stuff you need for the, for the kitchen, the toilet, all these kind of things. The, I mean, honestly, I would recommend anything here except for the plunger. I don't know where they found those plungers, but they're not good. Yeah, so I don't even know if these would work in a toilet. Like, I was literally trying to stick one to the ground the last time, and it just kept falling over. You know how you stick it on the ground, it should just slowly come up? Nope, it just plop, falls right over. We had a lot of talk about laundry detergent in yesterday's video, so I did want to point out they do sell fabric softener, like, you know, well, they do sell fabric softener too, but uh, dryer sheets. But you don't really get many. I mean, there's 15 in here, um, and I know this stuff isn't cheap, but geez, I mean, that's going to get you through a few washes there. And again, I will point out, they do have the LA's Laws Totally Awesome Laundry Detergent. I swear this feels like it shrinks every time I pick it up. It is still 42 ounces, though. I don't know if that's just a smaller bottle or what here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this is the fabric softener. 30 or 64 loads. 64 loads. Oh, so this must be going away though, because look at this. Here's the new guy. 42 ounces of fabric softener. So, I don't know. Definitely worth it to get the bigger one while they still have them, if your store still has them. Um, and yeah, they got so all, all the laundry detergents down here are 42 ounces. I think I might have pointed this out the last time, but they do have the Body Armor Sport Drinks here um, for $1.25, obviously. But these have been anywhere from $1.50 to $2 in the grocery store. So this is a good price. And we've gotten a lot of good comments on them. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you guys. So these Imperial Nuts, and they're great and everything. Look at what the size of those are now. 2.25 ounces. Now when they shrunk originally, they were 3 ounces. Which was down from 4 ounces, which 
it was four ounces for forever. So I wasn't surprised when it shrunk down, shrunk down to three. But look at that, 2.25 ounces now. And it's like mostly full of air. There, I can feel like there's barely, it's like right there. Right there is where the top of it is down there. I mean, that is, it's just not worth it anymore. I mean, I love this blend right here. They're really good, but it's not worth it. Okay, so I am back in the car. Gonna try the Donald Duck orange juice. Probably won't get this again, but if you like Tropicana orange juice, this really does taste a lot like it. It's not bad. I just, I don't know. I like Florida's natural, simply orange. Um, that's really what I get. I haven't been drinking a lot of orange juice lately though. Uh, I do like Minute Maid too, if it's on sale. I usually get either one of those three if it's on sale. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It, it does. It tastes exactly like Tropicana. Well, that was our trip to Dollar Tree. I, I always love going to Dollar Tree, um, even that it's $1.25 for everything. It's like seeing all the prices just skyrocket in all the stores. You know, I... <laughs> It, it, it's kind of tough. I feel like some of the prices here look more worth it now than they did months ago, but we're seeing products like the Imperial Nuts and stuff like that shrink even more. I, I swear, I think that laundry detergent, that might have been 64 ounces originally. I'm not really too sure. I don't think it was that big when I noticed that it shrunk. So maybe it was like maybe 52 ounces, maybe. It feels like it was a little bigger uh, before so it does seem like they've gotten smaller. They've been that for a while, but somebody uh, Was talking to, to someone else about that in the comments that I saw and I started thinking, you know It does seem a little smaller uh, it, Some of these things are very deceiving uh, Like the Imperial nuts there. They blow the bag up to where it looks Bigger than what it really is. You guys saw there's like that much across the bottom really good to see all the Halloween stuff all the fall decor that always puts you in a good mood. All the things that we love to come to Dollar Tree for. That stuff is really worth it. Uh, especially like the crafting stuff. Um, yeah, we didn't show the paints and stuff. But they do have paints and uh, stuff like that that you can paint the, uh, you know, what you're crafting and all that. But yeah, good to see the Halloween stuff. Uh, I did look over at all the birthday stuff. It, it looked fairly okay. A lot of the party, like the, the plates... And stuff like that like how they have like the different themed colored plates and napkins uh, all I saw was like green and purple so uh, they're still not getting a lot of those in but they haven't they haven't gotten a lot of that stuff in in over a year well guys thank you so much for watching the video today I hope you enjoyed it with all that being said I am out and always remember the adventure is out there <laughs>